Fused Deposition Modelling, or FDM for short, trailed the SLA process by a few years when Scott Crump first invented the technology in his garage in 1988, and a few years later co-founded Stratasys Limited. Since then, however, many other companies have begun producing their own FDM machines, and this has led to it becoming the most common additive manufacturing method worldwide. This is the Ultimega 2. It is a compact desktop FDM machine that takes up a fraction of the space of the SLA machine, but still has a similar build volume of 230 by 225 by 205 millimeters. The process begins with the creation of a 3D CAD model. This can be done in numerous programs including NX, SolidWorks and many more. Upon completion, the model is converted to an STL file that is able to describe the surface geometry of the part by translating it into a number of small triangles. This is then transferred to Ultimaker's control software, Cura. The part is cut into a series of layers that at high quality can be just 0.02 microns in thickness. A support structure is added and the file is then downloaded to an SD card and transferred to the Ultimaker 2. The build platform rises up towards the print head. The filament, in this case 2.85mm polylactic acid biodegradable polymer, is then fed through the machine where it is heated to 210 degrees C and extruded out through the nozzle with a selected diameter, ideally around 0.06mm for a high quality finish. The print head moves in the XY axis only and deposits the first layer of the model. The build platform then lowers a single layer thickness and the process is repeated layer by layer until the model is complete. Many FDM machines use two different materials for the model itself and the support structure. The Ultimaker, however, uses the same material but extrudes it as a fine mesh that provides support but can be easily broken off upon completion. Unlike SLA, this process leaves the part with visible layer lines. However, through processes such as sanding and painting, the part can be given a smooth and aesthetically pleasing finish. FDM is commonly used for creating prototypes and conceptual models, however it is now also being used to create functional parts for a variety of industries. 